Well, hello my friends, I hope we're all doing well. I love crunchy food and just before I head back to Auckland, I'm going to make one more crunchy meal. I'm going to make some beautiful, crunchy, homemade potato chips. And the key to making them crunchy, well you're just going to have to watch and follow on and I'll show you how to make the crunchiest chips you've ever had. Now what we've got here are some beautiful floury potatoes, not the waxy ones that you put in a salad. And I've got a pot of hot oil here. Now what I'm going to do now is cut these potatoes up into chips. Be back in a minute. Okay, my chips are all cut up now. Into beautiful sized chips. And I've got my hot oil all ready to go here. Now, if you want to know how you know that the oil is ready to put the chips in, you heat it up, then you grab a chip, and you touch the bottom of the pan with the chip and if it bubbles up a lot then you know it's hot enough there you go now we can put all of our chips into the pot got to be careful there we go Whew. boy that's hot grab some more Put it in. Got to make sure that your oil is really hot because if you don't, your chips are not going to turn out good. They're going to turn out a bit sort of soggy. Okay. Right, that's hot. Got it on high. All right. Give it a bit of a bit of a level it out here now we're going to cook these chips till they're about halfway done and then i will show you the secret of making the ultimate crunchy chip back soon well it's my last day here folks and i've really enjoyed my holiday I've had 90 days fishing relaxing walking movies and um, so i'm going to head back uh, this afternoon and tomorrow's a holiday on Monday and I'll be back to work on Tuesday and um, I've got my own taxi so I'll do that but um, years ago I used to get into pest control cockroaches and fleas and rats and flies and um, so coming up to autumn I'm going to get back into the rat control rat and mouse control I've got a uh, what I buy is a really good chocolate flavoured rat bait and works really good so I'm going to get an A-frame sign, put it on top of my car and I've got a professional sign being made up, no rats, no mice and my phone number and hopefully that should take off and um, that'll give me enough money for uh, this coming beginning of September where I'll come back here and maybe have, a, have three or four months fishing and relaxing here again. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it takes off. I did really well last time and um, made a lot of money from that. So hopefully that will happen this year. And uh, so we've got our chips here bubbling away. They're not um, they're not halfway yet. They're probably about a quarter of the way. So when they're halfway done, I'll show you the secret of making the ultimate crunchy chip. Okay, everybody, these chips are about halfway done now. Let's have a look. Oh, they're cooking, they're about halfway done. Now here we go. The secret to making a crunchy chip is halfway when they're cooked to get a knife, a lovely knife here, and all you do is you stab them. Okay. I know it's a bit violent, but if you want a crunchy chip, that's what you've got to do. Turn the blade and stab the other way turn the other way and continue doing it oh yeah I'm looking forward to having some crunchy yummy chips and you can also cut down a little bit okay well we'll come back 
around about 5-10 minutes and they're golden brown and we'll see how crunchy they are okay folks well these are pretty much well done now let's have a look eh? here we go fried up beautifully golden now I've got one of these to get them out I used to have tongs before it used to take me forever okay now I've got a plate and it's got some absorbent paper on the top tissue and what we're going to do is we'll get them out now we'll turn it off oh these look good here we go shake them up try and get as much oil off them as you can but these are looking really good mm -mm. come to daddy there we go what a real big one there I forgot to chop that one up but gee they look crunchy don't they there we go put it on the plate get the stragglers I mean these are a lot better chips than what you buy at the takeaways you know it's really hit and miss if you go to the takeaways sometimes you get a good chip sometimes you don't but if you do it at home you can get a beautiful chip pretty well pretty much well all of the time all right oh, it's a bit hard to get out come on fellas don't be shy all right that'll do yeah the strainer cost me two dollars what a bargain okay folks turn it off got some beautiful beautiful chips here all right now i'll put a little bit of salt on the top always got to have a bit of salt on chips okay right well i'll let that cool down for one minute and i'll be back but gee don't they look yummy Mm -mm. okay friends they've cooled down a little bit now so i'm gonna grab a beautiful crunchy chip and give it a go see if it's crunchy mm. oh wow oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, oh. Mm. Oh. boy that is so good crunch is definitely there mm. so there you go my friends my last meal crunchy meal before I head back to Auckland and um, so that's how you make beautiful yummy crunchy chips or if you're in Australia you say chips well I am from Australia so I should say chips and um, so enjoy make them whenever you want all right so catch you later and I'll see you back at Auckland Mmm, mmm, mmm.